Well, it's now day 11, and wow, what a difference one day can make. I've been kind of down in the dumps over the past several days, but uh, after yesterday's victory over the Naga, the giant serpent, and having uh, won the spoils of the Naga's scales, this is excellent. Um, I am very much in high spirits right now, and Wilson and I are ready to get moving on the next step toward our, hopefully freedom from this place so let's check the pack we are gonna head over back to the castle today and go toe to toe with that lich creature that pretty much sent us uh running with their tails between our legs last time but i think we're gonna have uh we're gonna have some different results this time i'm feeling much better about things i've got my diamond sword i've got this ironwood plate that I have crafted and I have been studying these Naga scales and it looks like if I craft these up like so I can stitch them together and make some leggings look at this After that holds together and that's going to provide some nice protection as you can see here, it's got an enchanted glow to it. The scales are magical. Unfortunately, I only had enough to make the pants. But that's going to help, I think, in our battle against uh, this lich. My sword was fairly ineffective against the lich last time, so I'm going to bring some flint and steel, and maybe we can burn this bugger out. I'm going to try some fire. I'm down to two arrows. That's not going to be good. Hopefully I can get some feathers along the way as we head over in that direction. And I'm going to bring a bucket of water in the event. No. Actually, no. What we're going to do instead of water... Come on. I don't recall him using any kind of fire against me. Uh, I suppose I should drink. I'm a little parched but there we go and how about you pal you probably need to eat there you go go ahead no you want me to hand feed you don't you <laughs> I'm such a prima donna hey, hey do you want it or not there you go love you too buddy wilson and i through thick and thin and many many an adventure come on bud so my thought is actually oh no, I wanted to... I was going to use this iron I had in my utility belt here to make a bucket. Now, I thought I had a bucket. But if I did, I don't know where it is now. Come on, no, we're, we're going. We're leaving now. If I recall the uh, this lich use some sort of poison against me. I, I seem to recall getting zapped with something and it slowly degraded my health over time. Some kind of a poison or ill effect. And there's an old home remedy that you can use to counteract some poisons and venom. And that would be um, just good old fashioned milk. So I'm going to try to get some milk out of one of these deer. I haven't seen any cows around this place. But perhaps we can get milk out of one of these deer. And in the event I am envenomed by the lich, then if I can quaff this milk quickly enough, then it might be able to counter the effects any ill effects from uh, whatever this guy throws at me. Okay. Feathers. Right. I need feathers. Let's find birdies. I would like to have a few more arrows if possible. And I believe we are headed in the right direction. Sun is going down. Not that it matters here in the twilight forest anyway. Castle is up this wall. Trying to find some birdies on the way over. Hmm. 
Where are all the feathery friends, Wilson? I'm not seeing any. Alright, well, we're gonna have to get up there. Oh, wait, I hear one. Okay, I don't want you to fall in that water there. Come on up here. He's up there, somewhere. Come here, little blue bird. Sorry, but I'm just going to pluck a couple of feathers. Okay. Wow. That's... I hate taking any kind of any life under most circumstances, but in a survival situation, I guess I don't really have any choice, do I? I'm going to need more wood, too. I'll have to shave these down into more sticks. And also... Make a table for crafting those arrows. I hear movement. It's just a bunny. Okay, is that it right there? I think I see the castle in the distance just barely on the horizon there. In the fog, I can see some of the taller towers. I think that's the castle. It's going to be a fight. Tooth and nail, I think. If I can get through this... Lich's shields. And I don't know how I'm going to do that, but in our last fight, it didn't seem like I was doing a whole lot of a whole lot of anything to him. So let's see how this goes. All right, let's get on up now. I guess it's time. Man, I'm full here. All kinds of junk. I thought I had made a path last time, but I. I guess I didn't, or if I did, I, I'm in the wrong spot. All right, Wilson, this is not going to work out for us. Let's go back over this way. It's going to be an easier way up this cliff face here. Right, I seem to remember that. Did I go down there? Everything is looking the same here. Well, maybe we'll find some more chickadees over this way. Oh, chicken. Wilson, I had a feeling you were going to do that. You alright, boy? Here. Took a tumble, didn't you? Now I'm starting to get hungry. Well, there's an interesting root coming out of that tree there. Well, I'm not seeing any easy access up, boy. I'm just going to have to make a trail. Oddly, I'm not seeing any more deer. Where's all the deer? See a ram. All right, well, we can get up here. So I'm, I know I'm stalling for this fight, but oh, what are those? Oh, those are pigs, wild boar. Uh, yeah, as with the Naga, getting prepared to go do battle is half the battle. I'm going to need to eat here very soon. There's a little squirrely squirrel. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse. Come on up there, Wilson. You can do it. Let's face the dirt. And I think I'm going to have a stew right now. All right, let's make up another one. Whew, okay. To the castle. Oh, hey, you, deer. Let's see. No. Darn. You don't have any milk. And I'll just have to take those feathers. Great. I was hoping, really hoping for this to work. 
And there it is. We are back. How about you? No. Looks like I'm not going to be getting any milk. Maybe I should just get some water in the event this lich sets me on fire. Of course, now I've got to find water. I don't believe I'm going to find it in the pit. Enough stalling. Let's get in there. Let's go take this guy on. Mm, this is the way, right? Come here, boy. All right, Wilson. You know the drill. You stay here. Okay. Hey! Hey! Back up! Back up! Oi! Okay. No, Wilson! Hey! Buddy! No! Come back in here! Get in here, boy! Bad dog! Wilson! Oh, no. Wilson, come out of there. You need to stay here. Alright, we're gonna have to do one more thing, which I neglected to do. I need to make this workbench. And I'll just carry it down. Oh. I guess I guess it's no secret that I'm here anymore. Let's put this down. Let's make um should have done this beforehand, but too many thoughts going on. We'll just use up all of it. 22, that is excellent. And let's get rid of some of this other stuff. Getting prepped for battle here. I'm going to just steal a little wood. Oh, no. These are not crafting size blocks. Okay, I'll just take this wood then. If that's the way you want to be. Chuck that. And chuck the gunpowder. And chuck the sapling. I'm going to make a chest. Because I don't think I'm going to need all this stuff here. I'll put you in there. Uh, apparently, I'm not going to need the bucket. <sighs> okay, rotten flesh. I just want to go light and fast in here. Um, torches. I don't think I'm going to need the shovel. Might need the axe. Okay, I've got my weapons out. <sighs> here we go. He's at the top of this tower. I have not explored uh, this entire castle yet. There's a lot of side chambers and rooms that I haven't been in. My goal is to clear it out. Hopefully find something here that'll lead me away from the Twilight Forest. Some kind of a clue to get the heck out of here. And this seems like the logical place to start looking. So here we go. Going to the top. That's where he is. I have already lit this up clearly as you can see. Ah, take those arrows. Thank you. Full quiver. But I th oh. All right, here comes another skelly. I'll oh, just rush him. Bum rush. I'll just bum rush him. Oh. Uh, well, I don't. So much for stealth. Okay, so much for stealth. I was hoping to get in there quickly. Here come the minions. Oh no! Oh, I have no way to block. Well, I do have some. I block that door off. Just block it off for now. Okay, let's go. That's where he was last time, right up there. I hear him. I'll hit him with a sword, and we'll see how that does against the shield. If it doesn't work. I'm gonna try the flame. There he is. Come here, you. He shoots things at you. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, there's another one! Okay. Ah. 
I do not remember that. Some flesh. Oh, that hurt. Burn him. Burn you. Look. That shield is completely preventing any damage from my sword. What an arrow. Can I get the higher ground? Oh, great. Some of these towers. If I recall, I had a better vantage from up above, but I don't know if I get above him. Burn the place down. I don't want to burn the whole place down. There's books in here, and I would like to get to those books. Now I can let the fire up. Because I think those books might be the clue. Get, who's that guy? Get! Oh. It's not working out so well. Oh, man. And I'm not healing. You gotta stay full in this Twilight Forest in order to heal. Dang flesh. What is that? Nothing. There's a sizzle, but no visible damage. I'm stuck. Ooh, what's this? I want to go through these books. Something in one of these libraries has got to give me a clue to get the heck out of here. And I know it. I know it's here somewhere. There's tons of books, but I can't go through these books with this lich living here and all the zombies and creepers and everything else. All right. Got to stay full. Let the healing magic do its thing. Now let's get in here. I don't want to burn the whole place down, though. Potentially lose any books. Die, dang it! Can't burn him. Alright, where's the real one? Can I get over there? I'll watch these holes. I'm gonna go around to the other side. I can fight my way through these bombs. Striking those false apparitions, whatever they are, prepares to damage my sword as if I was striking something solid. More books to go through later. So I have to be careful not to completely destroy my sword. Oh! Ooh! I think that may have worked. What was that? Oh, his shield's gone! Zombies! Hey! Weird creepy looking green zombies. What the heck? Ah. Fill these holes. Oh. Oh, can't do that. I don't have the proper tools to repair that right now, so we're just going to have to deal with this guy first. Well, I guess he's not coming down here to get me. That will be his fatal flaw. He wants to fight up there. Take out the zombie. Ah! That's the green goo, yuck. And it burns. Try. I don't think I can squeeze that in. Oh, it did. There we go. One shot, anyway. Uh, 
That's one strange looking zombie. Going in. Oh! Don't get in here. Get in the side. Okay. I've seen one of these before. In the nether. Got some kind of a golden sword now. Hello? <laughs> Alright. Well, that wasn't as bad as I had expected. What is all the stuff he dropped? Oh, pearls. Yeah, right. These come from those tall, skinny, creepy-looking endermen. Right. Hey, that wasn't so bad. And what is this? Some kind of a staff that he dropped. Magical boots. Okay, well, I'll put those on. Look a little nicer than my iron boots. All right. Hey, all in all, I wasn't so tough. Now, this thing intrigues me. This is the same type of magical tome that I saw in the Nether Fortress back in Season 3 when I was living in the Nether. And they had some pretty good information. Now, I'm wondering if there's some connection between this lich and the mystics that live there. Oh, look at this. More boots. Dropped them all the way down here. All right, I'll bring those back with me. It's just good to have extra pairs of shoes. Well, this looks like it's a dead end. This top chamber. There's nothing else leading off except for that. Now, I'm going to have to go through that writing and try to decipher some of it. Maybe that will lead me out. So, I guess the next step is to clear this castle room by room, light it all up with torches so that we don't get any more monsters in here. Clear out any spawners that there may be. And then move in. And I'll go through all these books. There are hundreds of books apparently here in various libraries scattered throughout the castle. Nothing there. That's been cleared. All right, let's uh, let's start at the bottom, and then I'll work my way up. Let's go check out Wilson. Oh, you know what? Let's just start right here, I guess. This place is definitely bigger than it, it seems. I can start at the top and work my way down. Dead end. Okay, nothing more up there. Okay, here's something. Ladder up. Another ladder. Oh! Chest. Oh! Nice! Look at these swords. Magical swords. A bunch of papers. Well, I'm going to have to come back for these things because I can't carry it all. But I can carry... Uh, here, let's let's grab these papers at the least. Maybe something useful to me in there. And zombie flesh I'm going to hang on to for Wilson. I've got a very good sword as it, is, as it stands now, but I guess I can get rid of that one. Let's grab one of these and just give it a try. Golden sword. Okay, there's another ladder up here. Oh! Oh! It's a sword of fire! Hey, that's nice. This gold doesn't last very long, though, does it? Jeez, it's like butter. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll use it while it lasts. Fortunately, that... Zombie fires didn't set the books on fire. I don't want to lose any of these books. Okay, been there. Still hearing more zombies. Oh, here we go. Up. What do we got? Hmm. Okay, it's nothing. Something's been blocked off. 
be another secret chamber or something? Oh! It is. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Look at these melons. And another magical golden sword. I'll take that. And a potion of some sort. Alright, let's, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm... Let's do this. I can't carry all of this stuff. It's too much for me to carry. I'm gonna have to make a base. Let's start at the bottom. I'll come back and get all this stuff shortly. Let's go light up the bottom. At the very least. Fetch Wilson. We'll bring him inside. And we'll pick one of these rooms to live in. Now, these holes in the stairs are going to cause problems for Wilson. So I'm going to have to repair those, but like I said, I need I need proper tools for that. I can't just stick things in there. All right, here we go. Wilson? Still here, buddy? Come on. The deed is done, my friend. Now it's just a matter of clearing out the tower, going through all the books. No! No, no! Hey! Follow me right now. Get, 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 get! What does this thing do? Ah! It summons zombies. Okay, no! Hey! You're going after my dog, aren't you? No. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So I can summon, summon zombies, and they'll basically attack my enemies, is my guess. Cool. Whoa. He's a fast one, too, isn't he? That's interesting. Where's the fire, my friend? Seem to be in a rush. Sorry I hit you, but I thought you were going after my dog. Okay, this is not going to be safe. I, I've got to finish. Let's get let's get all this out of here for now. I don't need any of this. We'll go through all that later. Wow, he seems confused. Alright, lots of torches. Let's put all the food away for now. I don't need the food, although I am going to eat right now. A small snack. Put this away. And then... Uh, zombie. Let's... Hmm, let's try that. You stay here, buddy. Let me go down. Oh. To the lower levels, and hey, get him! Nice. Okay, let's summon some more zombies and let them do my dirty work. Dog, you almost got killed. Hey, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I can see friendly fire about to happen here. Just stay, dog. Okay, it's all right. Me and Bub here will handle it. Get him, bub. Get the other one. Nice. Ooh. Flying dragon kick there. That was pretty sweet. Good job. All right. Come on down here. Doesn't look like this has unlimited charges, but it's going to be zombie on zombie fights. Go. Get him. Clear it out. I'm going to light it up. Excellent work. All right. Follow me. Oh, here we go. Spawner. I got it. Ooh, sorry about that. I need more torches. Cover my back, zombies. My zombie, personal zombie army. Oof. All right, let's get the lower floors. I'm not sure if these guys can go. Oh, over here. Aha. No. No, the books. Okay, well, it looks like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chest up there. All right, well, I'm going to grab all these books. I'm going to 
last forever, apparently. That's why it's burning up. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ooh, a map and more books. Maybe this map will be useful. I'm going to take that. Pick the magical golden pick. All right, well, thanks, guys. You were very helpful. Let's see what's in here. I can't see what's in here. Arr. Lots of books to go through. Okay. All right, that's progress. Oh, we have this over here. Let's go see what's up here now. I see a skeleton. Get up. There you go. Okay, this room is just filled with webs. Doesn't look like anything useful here. So I'll just light it up. Keep most monsters out of that room anyway. And we have another room here. More books. Oh, I've got a lot of homework. But all I need is one of these books to give me what I'm looking for. Okay, I think that's the entire lower level. I'm gonna have to get more coal. I'm a lot of torches. It's the last torch right here. Okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do is go get more coal, and I'm gonna have to do that outside. Let's um, let's get back outdoors. Where was my room? It wasn't this low. The exit, my exit is right here, right? Yes. All right, Wilson, come. All right, let's stay here, buddy. And give me these two cobblestone blocks. What we'll do is, come here. Come on in. No, Wilson, come. Stay right there, bud. We're gonna block this off. Stack up those two stones. And then watch it, Mutt. And we'll get some uh, just get some dirt out here. Oops. It's kinda of cramped in here, I know, but oh wow. Well, that's a useless map, isn't it, then? <laughs> okay. A map that has yet to be used. And let's go get this. I'm just going to stack up. Well, I might as well just grab... We'll just grab wood over here. That's what we'll do. Just get the trees. Get some more wood, and then we'll go get some coal. Probably coal in that cave that we saw over there. We had started heading down and never completed. And... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, let's just block this off. I'm going to bring this torch in with me, actually. That'll give us some lighting in here. Because it's time to call it a night. And I've got some books to get started on at the very least. So I'm going to be sitting in here and uh, I'll be doing some reading. See if we can find any clues as to how the devil to leave the Twilight Forest and get back home, boy. Okay, so um, day 11 is complete. We have survived 11 days here in the Twilight Forest. And uh, hopefully we'll get out of here within the next couple of days. So stay tuned. I'm shutting the camera off for now. I'll see you in the morning. Good night.